And besides, he was a graduate school. He, he passed three years in Yale University uh, between 73 and 75. And uh, from 98, he joined the department of mechanical engineering in Nagoya University. And uh, after 2002, he became to be a professor of center um, uh, of, this, of the same university. Uh, basically, he was distinguished scholar of uh, Institute of Advanced Research in Nagoya and program leader of uh, education and research in nanomicrotechnology. Uh, he uh, actually is the director of the Center of Micro and Nano Megatronics and professor of the Department of Micro and Nano System Engineering at Nagoya University. And uh, mainly, he is involved in research. Field of intelligence robotics, megatronic systems, cellular robotics, macro and nano robotic system, technical diagnostics, and error recovery system. He is distinguished professor of CU National University since 2009. So, also, he is a director of IEEE Region 10. Uh, and 
uh, president of uh, IEEE Robotic and Automatic Society. He was uh, two years from 98, 99. <coughs> he, um, he also uh, is a fellow of IEEE, uh, ASME, and any other, uh, several other scientific societies. But for me, most important is that he my good friend. So <laughs> uh, we collaborated with him several years, and uh, uh, recently in in uh, in in June we had a meet in Yale University uh, for a workshop on adaptive systems organized by Professor Narendra. So after that he. Uh, uh, it was nice to invite him and he accepted this invitation to visit some this stuff. So today he will speak about uh, micro nanotechnology and uh, I asked him also to show some uh, some films he, which he has, some videos uh, with his robotics which is really exist. So, to show please. Yes. Thank you. Uh, bon dias, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is delegate. Uh, thanks to my friend, uh, uh, IPN. Thank you very much, Ray Alexander. Also, I, I love to come here in Mexico. I know uh, many people here, and also people uh, in the subject and engineering. Robotics, also in the micro nano areas, including mechatronics. So, back to 20 years ago, I was here in Mexico to talk about mechatronics in Mexico City. That's again like very nice to come over here again. Here. So, today I'm going to talk about such a kind of signal analysis and assembly by micro nano robot system. That's the original kind of idea. But yesterday, I had a good friend, Alexander. Uh, and, you know, we had a dinner together. And he mentioned that. Hershey, not show only such a single cell analysis and such a kind of uh, assembly by just micro nano areas. I also showed some kind of my video to those kind of students in IPN and all here, everyone here in Mexico. Those That's why I tried to change the title, like a multi-scale robot system, why I came up with such a kind of idea. That might be a good idea for the student, or maybe they can uh, do something like that. So this is something like, uh, I like the kind of several robot system, micro robot system, that's a kind of old stuff, but uh, back to 20 years ago, I wrote this book. That so maybe, maybe I wrote uh, several books here in Japanese, because in English, like say, like uh, micro, so that's uh, something like that. So this is maybe this is kind of, uh, I talk about this one, multi locomotion robot system. That's like my monkey robot, and you might like it. That's why I brought it here. This book was published last year from spring. Other like kind of uh, medical areas, some people are interested in medical things, so medical areas, I uh, put it here, this kind of book. This book is also uh, published last year. Uh, and, uh, also max, this kind of uh, micro nano robot manipulation system and application from Springer also published this year. So maybe kind of you can uh, check those things. <coughs> also, you can ask Alexander, he has a uh, uh, box for me, okay? <clears throat> so this is me. I like this. So this is uh, like, a, like a chaplain, okay? <laughs> but this is like an, uh, I was awarded such a, an honorary doctor from Finland, uh, such a kind of art university. And also I like this one, because this is my sort of, sort of a kind of a degree of my research work up here in New Haven, Connecticut, 1973 back to 40 years ago. So that's my good friend, this is a dormitory in my room at Yale. That's a good thing. So that's the time. I'm so young, eh? I'm not here, but I'm here. <laughs> okay, why are we here? 
because of this gentleman. Okay? My friend Alexander. Uh, that's a kind of thing I met him at Yale in a workshop last June. And uh, this gentleman here, he's my advisor at Yale, Bob Narendra. He's a good man, research, excellent, world renowned, such a professor in the field of adaptive control, automatic such a learning system. Okay? That's what we have. Every, so every two years, he organized such a workshop, invited the kind of people from the world. So that's he is he's 80 years old. 80 years old now. But still he is very active. I was here yeah, 40 years ago, okay? That's it. He was my advisor those days. Now 40 years later, he's still active to write the paper. Okay? That's great. So this is me, Toshi, okay? That's a guy as I introduced by my friend Alexander. That's kind of here. So maybe uh, I like kind of a robotic automation society. I to be back to uh, 50 years ago. I love to be such a kind of a uh, president of the society as first non-US citizen. So that's a good thing, okay? Uh, so I to achieve something like that. So far I had like an 89 PhD student who finished their PhD by me. Uh, anyway, I like this, this my dog. Uh, <coughs> my dog is jumping a lot. So dynamics, you okay? yeah, just slow the frisbee. Jumping, taking, that, uh, that's my dog, I like it. <coughs> So uh, this is something <clears throat> like a social activity, but I was a dance to fight, like a, some other thing, okay? <laughs> Korean, also like here in UK. <clears throat> Maybe you may be know BBC. Uh, BBC is a kind of a, a British broadcast company. Maybe here the beautiful lady came to my lab. She talked about such a kind of a, uh, my monkey robot. So uh, he's my student, walking robot, such a kind of monkey robot here. Maybe I can tell it on, but it just shows this me, okay? And also kind of a, uh, people like uh, uh, Dr. Hasegawa working together with those things. So this is a kind of a zoo. But Oh, in Nagoya, Japan. Now she was there. Look at that kind of, this is a kind of cage of, cage of uh, such a kind of uh, monkey there. The monkey there, she's explaining why I like the way such, such monkey robot back more than 25 years ago. Okay, that's great. So she's talking about those things. And uh, I like this, okay? Kid is the one. That, that I try to make it, okay? So, so that's a good night, yeah? Baby monkey, something like that. Okay, here, here, he's getting better, eh? It's a learning process, okay? Let's go. So here, look at that. This is so beautiful. Such a kind of gymnastic uh, behavior. You like it, okay? That's it. Here, even a kind of a mother with a baby. You see? Look. So nice. Wonderful kind of behavior. Back to 25 years ago, I saw it. I was so impressed. And she, then she came to my lab, okay, see the, what to do. So she was talking about the, my first, second kind of thing I'm going to talk about. Okay? Seeing like that. Just keep. Okay? This is a simple, okay? Anyway, this is uh, something like uh, I, I don't want to show the whole, all the kind of ball. It takes more than 10 to 15 minutes, okay? This is broken by Tomorrowland or BBC. That's a stop somewhere. Anyway, that's a uh, nice. This is a robot, okay? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay? So. Anyway, this is some kind of background, what they're talking about. So this is a kind of a whole picture of what I'm doing. Sometimes changing a topic, something like that. 
So here, this is kind of a, an application for industry, such as an industrial robot uh, working together with the industry. This is a monkey robot, which have done so far. This is micro-nano areas. Kind of, this is a distributed robotics. This is a nano robot, micro robot. Also, this is kind of medical robot here. So everything underlined by field, feedback control. Okay, this is very important. Control, control, control with fever. That's important. Okay, no matter the scale wise, big, micro, nano, doesn't matter. Control by feedback. That's important. Okay, now you should know that. So, the, so first of all, maybe you can see such a kind of entertain you showing this kind of video. Okay, this is a monkey robot that you just show. I use watch from BBC tomorrow. This one, cool like that. So this is nice. Okay, so this is a kind of one meter long. This robot is just to, uh, about 10 kilogram weight. So let's go moving here. For example, this robot was made by my student. Excellent, excellent student. This is a good job. Okay. So that's kind of here, the kind of color ball here is something because take a kind of picture in real time, X, Y, Z, coordinate, then feedback, okay? That's important to do so. So that's a kind of thing. So, for the zoo, it's a, you, you, can, you watch such a kind of monkey moving like that. I try to imitate those things. This is really biomimetic robotics. You understand? Biomimetics, okay? That's a good thing. So maybe this is kind of only brachiation. Brachiation. This name, brachiation, was given by my good friend at Yale, Dan Kodicek, okay? He was also a student of Bob Narendra. He gave the name, such a complicated name, brachiation. Okay, if you see the brachiation robot, that's my trademark. Okay, <laughs> in that sense. Okay, anyway, this is a, a, a brachiation, but brachiation robot maybe should also work. So that's right. Here, uh, you may see this also also have to move, right? Walk was there. Uh, different from a way of not using such a ZMP, but a kind of stabilizing control with stretching in here. When you see such a kind of uh, a simo robot, many robot, biped robot in the world, always they, this is knees bending to avoid singularity. Okay? Singularity. Okay, that's, so that's why. But this one, stretch like human. Okay? That's, that's kind of important to think so. Okay? This robot walking like kind of after drinking tequila. <laughs> uh, but very nice, kind of right, using energy less, less, less than, than using ZMP control. Okay? That's important. So, this robot. Maybe I will show later on, but uh, just show you here. I I'll give you more, okay? No, but uh, this robot walking biped. Also, can can radars here, okay? Try to get a banana here. <laughs> Okay, virtual banana, okay? Okay, so the robot cannot get it here. So the robot has to walk here, find the way to go. Okay, there are no trick on the foot. Nothing, no magnet, nothing here, just flat. Okay, don't make a critic and cheating, okay? Just flat, okay? <laughs> So, the, okay, so just try to do that, just friction-wise, okay? Then the robot has to go transfer from here to 
brachiation. Okay? You need to get the two boundary condition problem. You have to optimize set the top. Okay? That's a kind of control. Okay? So now move here. Let's slowly change here. I'm moving here. Okay. So this is a jack in our robot. Okay? This robot. Oh, down. Uh, four leg robot also, maybe we can do locomotion more. That's why we call this robot mark locomotion uh, uh, robot, okay? That uh, they choose any type of game screen, depending on the environment, depending on what they want to do, okay? That's, uh, they have to choose those things. So, maybe another one before going there, maybe just show some. Uh, some idea, okay? Why are you interested in such a medical robot? This medical robot, I made a medical robot for surgery of brain inside. It's called like an uh, intravascular uh, microsurgery. So, that, so maybe here, so they're using catheter here, they're using catheter, not from here. Don't open your head, okay? Too bad, okay? You say bone the open your head, go from here, cut it, go up here, and now get inside your brain, okay? That's uh, going over there. So that's, uh, this was uh, my lab kind of activity, and uh, it's so nice. Medical doctor like it. As a company also uh, manufactured um, of uh, catheter, such a wire, love it. So they bought it. So that's why we. We made a, such a kind of company. My PC student became president of the company. So that's the thing. Nice. So we can do it. I tell you what why we can do that. Just take a kind of image CT scanning. After that, just make such a 3D model by 3D printing. Back to 15 years ago. That's interesting. Okay. So this is a medical doctor. He said, "Oh, this is nice to have a dosing before surgery." He can make a kind of practice rehearsal. So that he can make a kind of microsurgery with confidence. That's important to do so. This is my introduction. What I'm doing, but going later on. So maybe what scale from here to here. Maybe this is kind of so big, but take here one kilometer, one, one meter, okay? So this one meter, we are our size. Human being is one meter wise, okay? So like that. So then come up here, the kind of one millimeter wise. Then come up here, kind of one micrometer wise, one nanometer wise in nano areas. So that's interesting. But everything must be controlled by feedback, okay? That's important. So mechatronics, as you know, this world was made by people in Japan, 1969. 1969, okay? So that's a kind of thing. So this is a synergetic integration of mechanical engineering and electrical engineering with computing power, okay? That's a kind of, so including such a kind of a control technology you have here. Also can actuators and motor, or hydraulic motor, or air, whatever it is. Also sensor technologies. As you here, we can make many, many things, so like material too, so we can make a system integration. So here, for example, this bicycle. This bicycle, this bicycle have a actuator, electric motor, okay? So you just give a kind of one force, then motor generate two force, okay? So one to two ratio, so that the two ratio. You, you still <laughs> pedaling, okay? That power, they give a power if you are uh, going up along the slope, okay? That's easy to do. So everything's up like that. Today, everything you can make a turn, can satellite, rocket, automobile, uh, everything there, okay? So that, one, why I come up here is uh, back to 1985. About 30, uh, about 30 years ago, 
Why was the kind of young? I was so aggressive, challenging to many, many things in robotics. So why should we, can, like a we, human being, have a cell, come up cell, and then get, 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 get together, make a tissue, tissue come up with an organ, make an animal here, make a group, then make a kind of a society. When I make a robot, many, many times, it looks like I'm using all the similar components and make something like that. Why don't make a, such a some convenient way to do so? Then I come up here, make a fundamental unit, module, okay? Module, make a module, make a such a kind of, a, a kind of a cellular module, then come up here, such a kind of a, a cellular robot. Cellular robot got together, here group, then they have a kind of a distributed robotic system here, okay? That then your communication, something like that. That's the thing. So everywhere you make nano areas, maybe I can work this one, I can show those the later on, this kind of uh, nano manipulator inside. Here, micro areas, this kind of micro areas. And here, this level, this is kind of more like in the medical areas, I'm going to show. Then here, this is kind of monkey here, like that. We have a book, uh, monkey robot, okay? Multi locomotion robot. Here, this is kind of uh, multi robotics, there are a book here, like that. Important is, you may understand, just one, two things, one here, one level here, you must be an expert, deep enough, okay, make as many, many kind of research work, okay, that's important, but after that, when you do that, you have a kind of, in, go backward or forward, okay, vertical way, if you go vertical way, Say maybe here, cell come up and fish. is a fish engineer today. Okay? So horizontal thinking is always important. Okay? You have to be a kind of uh, excellent researcher in one field. Okay? In horizontal way. But if you want more, you need a more like a interdisciplinary works in horizontal way. Okay? This give a Big, big horizon of research of all the things. Of course, you cannot do everything by yourself. You need a cooperation with some other people. Okay? That's a great idea. You must have a, such a good research with people of human networks. That's important to do so. Okay? That's my message. Okay? So, multi scale robotics here. Meter ways, centimeter ways, millimeter lots of things, like kind of a surgery simulator, or all the things here, that's nice. So, particularly in my lab, have here, meter ways, this kind of robot here, such a kind of monkey robot, or some other intelligent cane, I'm going to show you later on, just briefly, centimeter ways, some robot here, millimeter ways, medical robot here, here, this is a kind of a micromet, this is a kind of a, uh, the making assembly of cells. This is a kind of characterization of cell in nanoscale. Okay? This is kind of all kind of a robot. You will see that. Okay? So that's like today. So I can do everything by myself. This is my PhD student starting from here. Ooh, spiral, spiral, up to 89 who finished PhD in my lab. Okay? So that's again, so people can, ooh, so all the students have come, come to my lab, they watch this here, where my face appears. Yeah, that's important, okay? So it's nice to have those people work together. This is a group of my uh, uh, research, and this is, they are my treasure of my research work, okay? That's important. So this is a sort of robotics, a micro robot system uh, I wrote in back to about 30 years ago. Okay, so that's nice. This is a kind of a cellular robot here. Good idea. The idea itself is something like, like that. Human individual always work together. Okay, one to one. But if you have uh, more people, multi robot, they 
Mati people, mati robot. We even you can have a network, network robotics, okay, through internet. But unfortunately, if you lose some part appearance, okay, you might have a artificial hand, leg, something like that, like a prosthetic arm, prosthetic leg, like that, okay. If you lose something inside your body, you have a kind of organ like such as stomach here, you might have a kind of a artificial heart, for example. Okay, then if you, you go to the cell level, maybe cell level, you can re remove one cell to another cell, okay, this is going to pass to the day. So, multi scale part system, starting from individual, come up to here, group here, make a kind of emergence of uh, uh, society, organization. Here, this is a kind of fish, that you can never fish, school, workshop, and level, uh, or was the society of insects like that, make those things. In, in terms here, individual, how we can make such a robot looks intelligent. Maybe you can use reinforced learning, automaton, other system, okay? Also like here, if you come up here, such a kind of a behavior-wise, you have a kind of group intelligence, or swarm intelligence, or collective intelligence here, come up here, you have a kind of, because this is the robot system. It depends on what you're doing, okay? Also going up there, communication getting less and less, okay? That's a here. So this is a kind of, uh, like, I know, once again, cell level, organ level, individual. That's a make a hierarchical self-organization system here. So that's a thing here. Maybe this is a flexible structure system, open system, also multi agent system here. So this, once again, this kind of make another way, cell level, kind of make a tissue, organ, animal, group, and community, and society-wise. They like that. We can make a robot too. And I, back to 25 years ago, I thought maybe we can make this kind of type of thing. Put some small parts inside body, make a assembly here inside, make a surgery. But 25 years ago, I did not have good enough technology of micro fabricate such small devices. Now today, you can do that. That's a different issue, okay? Today, you can do as you like this type of thing, okay? That's great. So, like, even here today, this is those thing, okay? Those things were written back to 25 years ago. And they started those things towards those things. That's how you understand why I say multi scale. That's even here today, I work on micro nano biosystem here, okay? So that's a good thing, okay? So, uh, 1985, I'm in this kind of docking modular robotics. Now today, people enjoying such a modular robotics, okay? Here, they go over here, like that. So like here's many, many things up here, such a flexible kind of a, a system here, like kind of flexible transfer system, okay? That's a good thing. You put here, usually a bit of is one way to go, one dimensional. But this is a two-dimensional, but anywhere like that, that's good to transfer, okay? So this is a good another realization by uh, digital companies here, then the, the robot here, robot line up along the, the line, robot makes assembly, those things, okay? That's a good thing, and this is this robot here. Also, Kiba system, you know, it's very famous. It's also autonomous distributed robot system. Here is simple, but it's good, nice here. Now keep a subgrade. It was bought by uh, other company, right? Yeah, you know that, okay? So what I want to do is I like a super simulator. Why so? That's so far, I made such a kind of a simulator, okay, for human uh, body. Uh, simulator, as I show you, that you can cut it inside here, up here, okay? You don't make open up here, or your head. So, that's a good thing. Make a kind of robot, also simulator. 
so that you can verify if your system is good or not. Okay? They make a kind of uh, super simulator that maybe 10, 10 years, printed later. Including such a kind of technology of microsensor, micro micro sensor, micro actuator, also nano sensor, or nano actuator, sort of a kind of bio similar to bio receptor. Okay? That's okay. In between, maybe you can make such a kind of a here, artificial organ, blood cell, or those in here, in between here. That's how I will do so. There are in between, there are many, many kind of uh, uh, things appear. You can work on those areas. So today, I just showed multi locomotion about here, biomimetic robot, as you know, just kind of jumping over here, or many, many kind of uh, bracation robot. Here, there are many, many people working on those areas. For example, this uh, Mark Rebat made uh, such a hopping robot in the 1980s, okay? Hopping up. Now he make a kind of a uh, big, big dog. You know that, very famous kind of a big dog. Or he's making a pet man, okay? Or he's making a cheetah work, uh, running so fast, okay? He's making that. Other people like this is my uh, uh, <laughs> 30 years old, such a kind of robot. So, anyway, that's the break it started 1986. Okay, so, uh, this one, yeah, here, four days, here, break it here, like that. Yeah, like that. So, that's, that's nice to have those robots here. Okay? So multi locomotion robot type, maybe in my hometown, Nagoya, from the zoo in Nagoya, you can see this is going here. Uh, they are doing a lot, okay? Walking, running, biped, like that. Just I make just a model, okay? Not exactly the same as a kind of a real animal, but I made such a thing, okay? Here, like a biped, uh, we are walking biped, right? Four leg, also four leg here, four leg, also can something climb up here, also like something like that. So that I, I made this conceptual, such a kind of a picture. And I work, start work with my student, and I, my job is just give an idea to the student what to do. One one job here you are biped you are here you are this here you are here climbing you are brackish that's my job is simple as a professor do that okay that's an easy job okay okay the students also love to do so ah oh, that's great that's Here or here or here again. Okay. That's great. Nice. Of course, Bakam. You must think about everything, control, optimization, everything. Okay? Every topic, small topic, you can write a papers. Okay? That's why I could write a paper a lot with my students. Okay? Just a little bit, a little bit. Okay? So that's nice. It's supposed to be a banana here, virtually, okay? How to get banana? That's in, in, interesting, okay? So they come up here. I just showed you this picture, okay? This is by Dr. Lu from China, okay? So those may, may things are up here.
Okay? Now, how to select such a locomotion mode? Okay? How we do that? That's we need a kind of a locomotion selection, the algorithm. So maybe we need a kind of, we like a stability. If you look at my robot, for them, it's good, right? If you look the field, not so good, they should go four leg, four up. Okay? If you, you can, okay, then they can go faster by biped. And the assumption biped is faster than four up. Okay? That's the thing. So you have to change it, okay? Like that. So that, like that, here. Okay? Happy device, here. If it's good, fat, not fat, they have to change it for four leg. Okay? So it's uh, like that. So uh, here, local can do that. See, change the locomotion. Stop it, lost. Okay. Oh, by so in such a way that has a value of locomotion. Why so? That's a kind of reinforced learning, okay? Like a kind of Q value. We can compute such Q value here. So that's like a locomotion reward, okay? So that we can make it here. So in this way, the robot here make such a selection of the thing back here, okay? So decide what's the next kind of thing. Depend on this reward, okay? Which better, okay? That's important to do so. So anyway, smooth continuous application by this robot. Okay, maybe I showed this already. Maybe I already showed it. So even this one, they always have a kind of biped locomotion, but need some kind of new concept, new idea, new control method. So we call PDAC, passive the dynamic autonomous system. Okay, if it's kind of active, you need a lot of power, but if you're passive walk. You just like after drinking uh, tequila, right? So smooth, okay, you know that, right? Still, uh, you can walk here with less power. So in this case, in this way, this robot can walk four or four times longer by same battery than such a kind of active ZME, ZMP based robot. Okay, this is very important to think about. So now I go to kind of an interface robot, more about just briefly. So I can intelligent K robot. That's a nice to have those for support to elderly people who just need some help. The reason why I do work over here is about two. About 15 or 20 years ago, I was in Spain. Okay, I was just walking the street in the morning. Some some old lady just showing that I did not understand Spanish, but I understand the gesture. Okay, oh, what's that? So I went there. So what? She she said something, but I don't I didn't understand what she said. There's only two step here, two step to go to the shop. But she could not climb up two steps. She, she asked me, give me your shoulder. Okay? Just, two, just go up two steps, okay? Only two steps, okay? So just go the shoulder here, the shoulder here. That's it. That's all. That's it. people, some people. It's just such a simple but important such a support, okay? Assistant. That's what you need to start. So that I, I work with such a kind of simple idea, just to kind of give it some kind of stick here, walking like that. Simple enough. That's here, so that we make some kind of uh, elderly people make those things. If it's such a person really want to go somewhere, just take it, take it over there somewhere. Guiding the uh, uh, aged people to go where they want, okay? Also, say if the lady become even the, the uh, top down, the robot has to come up here, support her, not fall down, okay? It's important to do that. So. so maybe here, 
the key concept of imaging camera bar. It's something here, walking like that, showing that here, walk rehabilitation or assisting, assisting here, walk and walking here for the detection, or so that have an easy kind of a work kind of a accompany to the, uh, the people, okay? So that's the particular issues. Safety, assistant, usability, okay? Each have a kind of a uh, kind of topic here. Assistant, working assistant, or something like that. Each like for, for, for the detection and prevention, okay? Or some other, like kind of navigation, some people easy operation using an iPhone, for example, okay? Or maybe this, they can do that, okay? That's a nice. So, this is the kind of force, like kind of human walking, intentional estimation. Important, how we can estimate the person want to go from the sensor, kind of a kind of tactile sensor or force sensor. We have to check it, where she wants to go. Using Kalman filter, we estimate where she wants to go, go. Don't go in this way, okay? Just go straight. That robot can uh, assist can such a, uh, uh, people who need that kind of uh, support, okay? So like here, take the fourth direction, walking here, stopping here. Then we just make a kind of a, uh, face plane, go here, you just this here, cheer. That, that's a kind of, for them, detected, be one. So make a support, put it here, back here, okay? Also kind of for prevention, also kind of the posture control, such as here, so that we can do that. This may be. Here, dropping here. Robot will move around, okay? So, for the other side, okay, to prevent those things. Okay, anyway, that's a kind of thing here. And here, maybe explain that for the prevention, that's a kind of a, using such a kind of universal kind of a, uh, joint here. here. So, support more powerfully, okay? That's a great thing, okay? So anyway, this is something like that. Uh, that's a kind of just, just, so, introduction, robot my help. That's a human robot interactive system, okay? Or you need to estimate human intention. That's important, okay? That's here. So now I'm going to kind of medical robotics. That's the project. That's a kind of, since 1989. I moved, this year, I moved to Nagoya from Tokyo. So, Nagoya is a famous about automobile. Toyota Motor Company locates nearby Nagoya city. That's an industrial city. So that maybe good to make a, to work together with industry. That's I move over there. So this one of them is here. The kind of professor of school of engineering, Nagoya University, came to see me. Oh, since you're working with small robot, why don't you make a, such a kind of small robot go inside of Blood band. He is so aggressive to the medical doctors for the Negoro. That's great. I try to do that. But I know it's a, impossible to do so, okay? You need a kind of catheter here, wiring here. And that we can do that. So that's here. So, so this is a kind of simulator, okay? Just copy your blood vein. At least the size is one millimeter in diameter, okay? We can have, make it up to 0 0.5 millimeter in diameter, such a blood band, but the medical imaging is not good, so they could not provide such a kind of accuracy of blood band, okay? That's a good. So, this is a good model, okay? Fast, you like this one? This is a model, we made it, okay? So, just open the, if something wrong in your brain, you just shave your hair, and you can cut the scalp, and put here, here, and inside. Do you want to be treated in such a way? No, okay? That's again, so that we started such a non-minimum, a minimum invasive uh, microsurgery, 
Okay? That's it. So don't do that, okay? But we my student now the prison company made this model. So this is five biomedical companies that which made by a, a people in my group, okay? F stands for Fukuda, myself. And eight, uh, Professor Arai now today, and I, Ikeda, he's a president of the company, N stands for Negoro, who is he, he's a uh, professor of medical school, okay? That's uh, four people get together and make a company that later on. So that's kind of sending uh, those things, okay? So anyway, the, when I started in 1989, here today, here, okay? We started using such, how to make such a kind of catheter. We still, we can, how we can control this right, left, like that, okay? So made such a kind of a, uh, catheter here, kind of the actuator here, micro actuator. is a polymer actuator, or SMA, shape memory alloy here, like that. So the, or we can put a micro sensor. Don't break your blood vein. Touch and sense before, okay? That's important. So now I made a kind of, uh, I made a this robot, okay? I was so happy. Wow, I made such a kind of robot, a okay, master slave, and I like it. So I brought this robot to medical school, Professor Negoro, and he said, no, this cannot be used. Why? Two reasons. One reason, first reason is, how you, you can guarantee the power, in case power off, power, no way, okay, you want that, stop there, okay? Second is how you can still sterilize if something is wrong, to cope with it. You can sterilize, maybe it's bacteria inside, okay? You might get sick, badly, okay? That's bad. So that's, a, we made another robot here, finally made the thing. Then you step him up, two or three. That was happy. I brought him. He said, well, it's okay, but the medical doctor need more kind of a thing to do so. They need a kind of, uh, you can very verify the robot good or not before applying human being. to no volunteer <laughs> to be the surgery, okay? So that we use a dog, but the dog also run away, okay? One time, okay, no second time, they run immediately, okay? So that, that's the thing, okay? So we have to do something, simulator, to show my robot good, okay? So they made a kind of simulator like this, finally, come up here. So using a kind of a CT scan, all your brain here, every two millimeters, okay? Then after image processing, Remove by human, we can remove the bone as a tissue here, and we can extract only blood vein. Okay, we need a blood vein. Okay, stop blood vein here, and this is we just can see like that. Okay, so this is a blood vein, and we just make such a kind of inkjet like that kind of printing. Okay, printing, printing, printing. Okay, that three D printing, but. Important now must be transparent. That's a kind of our patent. Okay. Our patent is how we can make such a transparent human organ or animal organ. Okay. That's imitate those things. Okay. That's a great. Also, we can see visualize how much force applied. That's great here. Like that. So let's make it here, then we make it all the simulator, pleasant, and the stress analysis uses the thing. Even here, something, why? And the room inside, blow up. The end of life. You have to open surgery here immediately, right? Bad, okay? So how we can detect those things here? So that kind of a, so a stress analysis in breb, breb is here. Top here is a small one here, okay? That's interesting here. So now that we're here, we are focusing such a micro nano sensor here, uh, also regeneration of such artery, blood veins, or thing. Come up here, whole uh, 
kind of just a reproduction and those things. Using such a kind of a surgical pathological immune system, uh, we can make such a kind of try to make a simulator. Eventually, we make such a kind of a super simulator here. So this book was written last year with my graduate student uh, from Guatemala, next to Mexico. Okay, so he came to here my lab, worked together. He worked, 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 and I my lab is we have to make impossible password. That's a kind of a logo here. So he worked on those things, and uh, Carlos, he's Carlos Tesoro uh, from Guatemala. So they made those things here, and we made all kind of things together. But we are very happy to make those things, and those things also we can uh, bring those kind of uh, stimulators to the world. So the people now, they have a much safer operation. Medical pressure, okay? So that's it. So maybe here you can see muscle slave. Okay, this is a master slave, master slave, okay? Just go inside. The medical doctor Negoro sensei here, he put it here. And this is a small primitive simulator and X X ray this is a real Hospital, okay, in that way, university, okay, but it's also so going inside here, okay, that I can see. Oops, so this is a similar here. Oops, no, no good, maybe better, okay. So this uh, this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, aluminum, okay. So we can coil in here, platinum coil. As well it's grow, grow, grow. Eventually, boom, out. Then you need to kind of operation. Okay, head out. Okay, like that. Okay, you don't want open surgery. So that clear. This coiling here. If you coiling, then blood flow will not go in inside. So that okay, you can. Uh, have no more such a kind of a, uh, uh, growing such a kind of anurium, okay? Stop that. So that's the thing. So this is endovascular uh, simulator we call Eve. Eve, okay? Eve is something like that. Just take a whole body uh, tomography, vascular um, morphology extraction, just artificial kind of uh, blood, then come here like that, okay? This is the kind of thing. So, it's a skull here, aluminum here, we with it. Today, there are so many methodologies, but all day, we have a kind of a clipping from outside, open, open surgery, okay? Just now here, we're gonna stand the system coiling, like coiling here, also like kind of losing here. So now we have a kind of a flow diabetes, we're also working for diabetes. That's a interesting, that's a kind of a, just kind of, Bypass, so it's not bypass, the kind of a uh, cover, so they can analyze uh, uh, okay? So now we just can, after brief, brief description of such a kind of uh, what I have done so far, I go to the, just go a little quickly, such a kind of a single cell manipulation cell, today's topic here, okay? So this is the micro nano manipulation system and so thing, just a lot, just uh, this year, March. Okay, so that's it. it okay, here, that's it here. So you got a 3D cell concept here, kind of a make kind of here again, so you can make a, such a blood vessel, uh, make a 3D structure like that. It's the same as like that. Single cell, come up with a 0D structures, 1D structures, 2D structures, 2D mean 2 d dimensional. Make this kind of, kind of, two dimensional, one, you can make a layer, then you can make a 3D. If you can sing one degree, like hydrogel, like that, so just widening. Like a, you are closing, okay? You make a kind of weaving, okay? You make it, or 3D, because you can make it here. That's a kind of many, many kinds of things going on. We made such a kind of a structure, okay? So what do we want to do? Once again, single cells, single cell, 
kind of many cell, many group, and then that kind of tissue about. The same concept, the previous one, like a cellular robot system here. So once we get here, try to make those things here, and 3D concept in vitro environment. Okay? In vivo, in your body, you can do that. Medical school, they do that. Okay? But we want to make those things in vitro. Vitro means in your test tube, in your laboratory. Okay? Make, try to make it. So that here, like that, make such a kind of, here, this one, come up here, make a such a kind of uh, fast, fast blood vessel. Blood vessel is important to do that. So, there are so many kind of uh, methodology that we, in my lab, we make such a kind of here, but since biosynthesis in 3D space, like uh, uh, platelet production, 1D assembly, 2D assembly, 3D assembly. So that we can make many things. For example, one the assembly, maybe assembly by electro deposition. See two these uh, example like rolling up hydrogel fiber, just uh, like a uh, weaving. Okay, the three D structure, this kind of assembly, so those things. Okay, so that's a kind of thing here. Maybe we can have those things here. Okay, so many many things going on. So. What we want to do is that here, that we make such a kind of a uh, disc like this here, the cell here, come here, the cell, just one cell, two, one disc, two disc, three disc, many, many cell, uh, cell disc here, together, come up here, make a kind of future, such a kind of a uh, muscle, blood vessel, nerve cell here, fiber. Maybe you can see here, electrode, DP, Here, right here, moving here, switch on, like that. Even for, it's no flow, but you can make a pattern. Once you have a kind of electrode, make a pattern in here. So after that, you fix them, then make kind of a, a disc here. Okay, this here, right? okay, make a disc here. So this here, okay, this come up here, it's so fast, okay? That you can, that's a self organization. They can stop up with exactly like this here. 480 microns, so many, many, uh, 60 layers like that. So then you can make it. So this is kind of a uh, cell, like uh, using real kind of a NIH3TC cell here. We can make such a like assembly. Okay? So that's here, after 72 hours, still alive. Okay? That we can make it here. That's a good thing. So maybe here. So last one is a kind of manipulation, nano laboratory, that's like a nano instrument, nano fabrication, nano assembly here by using nano robotic manipulation here. So this is a kind of a nano robotic manipulator here, that's here, and we have a single set nano system here, injection, extraction, diagnosis, cutting, embedded here. There are many, many kind of tools, nano tool, we can make it. If you ask me, we can make it. Okay, they can do that. So that uh, many paper appeared in, for each level here. So that even here, this kind of uh, in vitro realization in vivo environment, we made a micro nano measurement, micro nano manipulation, micro nano assembly. Every here, there's some kind of top here. Every each one student work was here. One PhD student work here so that we can work together. Okay, so that's here, for example, like uh, other his force measurement, single cell by nano pole. Make a nanofog. Nanofog, this is the one micrometer, one micrometer, one micrometer, okay? The small, just fork here to measure the thing. So, this is a kind of a, how the cell stick on the surface to remove it by force. At the moment, the distance, that's a kind of other spot. So like here, just make it here. So make it here, like a nanopore, is like about 400 or 500 nanonewton, like that, in this case, sticking here, okay? Also nanopita, so here by uh, my uh, student here, make it come here, so that's a kind here. Stick here, can I do somewhere? But moment, up. Okay, that moment is like sticking out. So, and the cell on cell together out for those things here. So, 
this is interesting here. Here, here. So this is a timeline here as a being set on cell, not friend, okay? Then they're connecting each other, tangling by uh, protein, okay? So tangle here. Then artificial force become stronger, stronger, stronger here, like this, okay? So like let's say 25 nanometer, for example. We can measure those things. We can produce such a sensor, nano two sensor, to do if you uh, you need it. Okay, that's here here. So that here we can make those things here. Uh, concluding my work today, that's a multi scale robots present here. In here we just showed a multi locomotion. May we work together? Also, like here can medical robotics, like if for simulator, I try to make a super simulator in the future, okay? Also, like here, biomanipulation, nano device, nano thing. Important is interdisciplinary work, such as not only horizontal work, but also vertical thinking, okay? That's important. So, wait, you must hear the deep. All the research work in a horizontal way, but somehow we might another discipline to go up, down over here in horizontal uh, vertical way. That make your horizon broad, bright, and unlimited such a resources for your research work. Thank you much. Gracias. That is my people. Now it's working. Uh, maybe one two questions, not more, because we are outside of the schedule. Uh, if somebody has any question, Professor. Uh, anyway, you can, uh, Professor will be available just now after the conference. If you wish to contact, please, you can do it. And uh, as uh, I was said by one of uh, <coughs> technical assistants, engineering assistant of this conference, in 10 minutes, this presentation appears in YouTube. So you can have it and in detail to see all of what he said just now. So thank you very much again. And Toshi, it's, it's nice to see you. And I hope that this presentation open a perspective uh, for young students who are working in robotics in, in Mexico. So thank you very much. Alexander, thank you very much. Gracias.